Okay, Anne, this is our setup for our vacation um, uh, getaway for the horses. All right, I'm gonna walk you through kind of what we have. So down here, we have the trailer and we have attached, made an attachment for the hose so that it can reach. I'm thinking that um, I'm gonna fill it up today and then we'll have it full before we leave, but it should last about three or four days, but it only takes about 20 minutes to fill it up. So while you're doing um, some other stuff around here, you can just pop that in and it'll be good. The cow water is right on the other side. Um, right through there, on the other side of that fence over there with the cow. So I'll, I'll send a video about that later, but the hose will reach to each and the uh, connection is obviously back there behind the house. Okay, so we have, we'll have this cordoned off with all their food. Uh, we'll have extra bags of feed in the farmhouse should you need it. And this is what we've got. So this is gonna be the common area, kind of all right here, okay? And this gate will be closed, but what I've made is I've made lanes. So I've got this lane, this lane, this lane, this lane, this lane, that lane. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, they are big lanes and the grass is pretty lush. So I'm thinking that on these first three lanes, they could be on them up to five or six days and I'm okay with that. I know generally I like to rotate them daily, but um, in order to um, give the grass just, you know, an equal pruning throughout, then uh, we can keep them on them. But if they start looking hungrier, they start looking kind of mopey, then you can move them over. So the way I've got it is, each lane kind of has a gate. So this gate is over here and I've tied it up and it's sitting on the fence. When you want to move them, when they come in to eat in here, you can just bring that to here and it'll attach onto the stake. And then all you gotta do is open this lane. Um, not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of myself about this. Actually, it was Matt's idea for this. I had a little bit slightly different idea. So then you just open that. They go in and out of this lane for however many days. And then once you're ready to move them, you just remove the gate for the next one and they will go out and each gate is its own contained, um, leads to its own contained paddock. Um, if this is just hopefully a worst case scenario, but if they happen to be stupid one day and run through the fences, um, it should be pretty easy to refine the lines. I have extra line in the pasture, but generally what they do is if they just, I don't know, they get too close to it at night or just being stupid, then they might take it down, but hopefully they don't do a Hail Mary and run through all of this. That would be slightly miserable, but I'm hoping with all the grass, I mean, look at them right now. They're so full and happy that uh, they just kind of stay like that the whole time. And um, we've also got their blankets over here. Um, the I've got also net covers. It looks like it's gonna be pretty clear, but I've been putting blankets on them if it drops below 40. Um, the bright blue, here, I'll start a new video so you don't have to listen to this whole thing to find it. 